All right, time to play some H3VR. Uh, I was going to play some Taken Hold, but, uh, well, I had to do some stuff yesterday, so I'm kind of tired. And uh, one way to relax is to just, you know, do some shooting. And uh, <laughs> if you can probably tell what this is, this is going to be uh, probably interesting for some people. Probably not, but... Uh, yeah, all right. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll probably do some taking hold uh, next time. But for now, I just want to relax. I had to go to the store and buy uh, some supplies, and that was exhausting, especially in this uh, climate, in this day and age. So, yeah. So what are you looking at here? This uh, I've got the uh, hover bench out. And um, since I did the WA-2000, the Walther, uh, I decided, well, you know, since that, that was like a precision kind of, um, what's we call it? Precision rifle. Let's try something a little unorthodox. This is the uh, Takedown 1022. And as you can guess by the name, it fires 22 caliber rounds. So it's not that powerful. <laughs> and I guess uh, what I'm trying to say is I'm going to try to fire this thing. Uh, I, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try to fire it. Uh, I'm, tr I'm going to try to reach 2,000 with this thing. It's probably going to be impossible, but um, yeah, you know, you never know. So yeah, so I've got the uh, the Ruger 1022 here. This is the takedown 1022. Put a uh, I put a 60 time scope on it, so got that set up, which is nice. And uh, I also for the final part, which I always love to do. Uh, I decided to extend the rail here with a glitch gun adapter. Do a two couple. Uh, 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 I do a couple of uh, rail ex uh, rail extenders, not rail extenders, um, rail risers. There you go. I have two of them, the tallest ones, so I can put a bipod down. And uh, yeah, so I just you know built that for for later when i if i if i eventually get to uh 2000 meters this is going to be really bad but uh yeah the i think the if i remember looking it up online the effective range of a ruger 1022 is about 125 yards which uh i don't know how that um i don't know how many meters that is i think that's like 100 meters uh i can't do the conversion in my head well if I could well you know what hold on let me just uh, I got my computer over here let me just uh, whoop, let me scoot back here uh, 125 yards I gotta go into Google here there's my mouse cursor that's not a lot of uh, distance 125 yards to meters meet oops i didn't want to do that i hit alt accidentally meters <clears throat> 114 meters oops my headset lost tracking there while i was typing uh 114.3 that's what google says so yeah this uh this gun can't shoot very far um, well, let's get started. You know, let's actually, uh, adjust this thing. Uh, we are going to put the zero at 1,000 because that's, uh, that's what we're doing here. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I have seemed to, I think we raised Hold on just a second. Either I'm going down, or I'm already at the lowest part, which is weird. Oh, yep, okay, I need to go up, so I need to push forward. Takes a while for this thing. Don't quite... Oh, yeah, okay, this is going to take a... This is going to take some time. Okay. Uh, slowly getting there. Need to find 
1,200. Come on, where are you? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. Uh, come on, don't press down. Alright, I am just going to angle this up. Actually, can we zero the rotation? Need to push this all the way up since we are going... And changing our base zero. Ah, oh, man. Okay. All right. We're going down. Uh-huh. Keep going up. <laughs> Got to do this. These are long ranges. I can tell you that right now. Okay. Okay. I wish there was a. I wish you could change the sensitivity a little bit higher, especially shooting longer distances. Oh, come on. You get 1,000 meters in here. <laughs> this, this is a really bad idea, by the way. Okay. Yeah, we are going to. There has to be a. Uh... Ah, wait, you know what? Hold on. Toggle this object lock here. Let me do this uh, this way. I'm going to base zero it. Toggle the object lock, zero the rotation. This. Sh... <laughs> yeah, I should have done that earlier. All right, we should be. We're not, uh... oh man, hold on. Yeah, this is going to be uh, pretty hard. I should probably pause the video for this, because this is going to take a while. <laughs> but I will be right back. Just, where's my mouse cursor? Okay, I will be right back. All right, should be back again, right? Okay, good. Okay, that took a, a while, but as you, as you can see, my gun is now sufficiently elevated. It's no longer straight like this. It's actually moved up. So, uh, yeah, we are getting there. I just need to move it over to the side a bit. Do, 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 do. Let's go this way, and then let's move... Hold on. Am I not hitting the right thing? Wait. Hold on. I can't see. Oh, man, hold on. Okay, I need to pull back. To go this way. Which is going to take a bit. Hold on just a second. Hopefully this is recording. I think it is, right? It's not paused anymore. All right, here we go. Finally. This should be 1,200 meters. Yep. Okay. This uh, closer. Now, this is a really... Well, I'll say this is a pretty stupid idea because, again, this gun only goes to uh, about 100 meters, right? And uh, trying to shoot it more than that is a really dumb idea. But, wait, wait, you know what? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I can't even see the bullet. Oh, no, I saw it drop. Okay, it's way down there. We're going to have to move... Uh, we're going to have to move this up. Oh, man, what am I going to do? I really need to learn the uh, formula for calculati uh, calculating... Minutes of angle. Oh, no, I want to... Right, hold on. I want to move this up. And I want to increase the elevation. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess the, maybe the ultimate goal should be instead of 2,000 meters, 
maybe if I manage to hit this 1,000 meter, a 1,200 meter target with this, uh, with this, uh, <laughs> Ruger, uh, 1022. All right. We'll move the, uh, MOA down or up. Sorry. We'll move it up. It's pretty good. And it is off a bit, so we'll move it to center. Okay, that one uh, that one landed pretty low. I actually want to see where that landed, so let's zoom out a bit. Eh, still more, a little bit more to go. So let's just move this up. Again, you could probably just make it faster by actually inputting the uh, the uh, distance and the whatever, stuff like that. That's all math, which I'm not good at. Let's change the elevation. Let's keep going. It'll be a miracle if I can hit this at uh, 1,200 meters. Okay. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. That was slightly below the uh, bottom of that crosshair, so just keep moving this up. Like right about there, right? And then we'll increase the minute of angle. Click, 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 right there. Let's move this uh, towards the center again, and let's give it a shot. Ah, still needs a little more. We need to fill the bottom of that reticle. Those crosshairs, sorry. Like right above, right like that. And we'll just, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, still pretty good. There. And let's move this back towards the center. Take another shot. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Just need to keep doing this. Right about there. Gotta do this some more. Oops. You do that. This trackpad is a little worn out. I don't even know where that landed. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I need to uh, keep moving it up, so. <sighs> Doesn't really sound that impressive, huh? The the uh, 1022. It is a 22, so I don't know what you'd expect from this. Doesn't quite have the uh, same kind of boom as a uh, 50 caliber or 300 wind mag. Actually, I don't know where that landed. It was a little too fast for me. All right. Let's see how the gun is angled. Ooh, look at that. Lots of elevation there. Okay, we're going to keep doing this. So, just keep moving. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Fifty-three minutes of angle already. <laughs> okay. I think that was about the uh, 
fourth hash? I want to say... Yeah, I think so. Let's keep going. Realistically, I don't think you'd want to do this, but I mean, hey, you know. If you really want to, <laughs> you could take your uh, 1022 out to the range and try to shoot some some miles on there, you know. Okay, we're uh, at the, I think, right below the third mark there, the third hash, third line. So we'll just move this up a bit more. Like right there. And then maybe, you know what, let's actually center this. There we go. Increase the MOA. That's good. How many, uh, oh, we have like two more left, huh? I think that was the... Still a little more. I think we're out. Right about there. Wait, nope. We still have... Uh, okay, we still have more. Get in there. I've seen some weird uh, weirdness right there. That's I think that might be the front sight. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Whoops. I mean to do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is... I don't know if this is going to be possible. We are probably going to get blocked by our... Is that our front sight? I think that's our front sight. Yeah, that's our front sight, all right. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to solve that. I might. Well, you know what? I, yeah, I can't see. If that front sight is there, I can't really see where the bullet's going to land. So that's going to be a problem. Oh, man. Should I raise the sight? I, don't, I wonder if that's going to affect the... Um, the uh, minute of angle attachment rail adapter rail riser tall I'm just gonna grab this go back to our oops okay well I mean what else choice do I have can't really do much if uh... yeah we'll just uh, do that it looks like it's okay. All right. I, did I change the MOA? Well, we'll see. All right. It's, it's, I think it was above the uh, third mark there. So just adjust this like that. Maybe move this over a tiny bit. And then we will adjust our MOA. I think this might be the shot. Maybe not. Nope, not yet. But I think it landed... Um... Yeah, above it. So just keep moving up. Keep moving on up. There we go. Just the MOA a bit more. Yeah, we just keep doing it until we get it. This will be a really 
funny achievement if I managed to get this. For me, personally, I think not really that interesting to other people. All right, let's try this. Oh, we're getting there. I think that was the... Um, it was hidden near the back. So we're quite... We're like on the second... Second... Fine, let me do one more shot here. Yep, right underneath that one. So, I need to move it up a bit more. To about here. Move this over. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this, uh, the elevation on this gun is actually, I'm actually, I'm actually having to crane my neck up to see the uh, sight, so maybe I should uh, lower this a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. Yeah, I don't, well, you can't see my head, but uh, yeah, I'm looking up, you know, like this. But uh, I think that should be good. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more right about there dial this in oh it's yeah it's it's dropping in front of it the target I don't know where exactly that landed though so let me just uh Hmm, just a little bit more, I guess. Right about here. Maybe. Let's keep increasing our minute of angle here. Not looking to hit the target. I'm just looking to get the round as close as possible. Oops, I'm out. Went through a whole magazine. 22. Also, I'm sitting on my cable. <laughs> there we go. I just moved it out of the way. Oh, I hit something. Okay, we're getting we're getting close. Just move this over here. I don't know. I think that was a hit. That might have been a hit to the target. Uh, well, I can't really tell because the twenty-two isn't powerful enough to make the uh, target move all that much <laughs> so yeah I think that was a hit how accurate that is I'm not not really sure maybe if I just round it off to 88 minutes of angle and we'll see if we can get a headshot on this Oh, okay. Hmm, just a miss. Just a miss. Hmm. 87.75 seemed to be pretty good. Although the mechanical accuracy of this is, yeah, it's a little, a uh, little rough. Ah, I hit the, um, hit the frame of the target. Yeah, I think I, um, I think I'm pretty good. Although I do think that maybe. It was hitting, like, in the shoulder area, right? Nope, that's a little too... It went behind the target. Okay. So, I think 88 might be pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, maybe 87. <laughs> But still, yeah, the uh, the mechanical accuracy is a little, um, I don't know how you would uh, say it, but it's uh, it's not that great. But, uh, you know, this wasn't designed to be shooting like one, one kilometer away, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, uh, 1022, really? <laughs> Oh man, just just to the right of it. There we go. I think this should hit center. Yep, okay. That was a hit. All right. So, uh 87.75 minutes of angle. I honestly I don't think I will probably do the uh, 2000 meter range because that probably took up like I don't know, 30 minutes of me just uh, inputting uh, MOA. But since I've figured out the MOA for uh, 1,200 meters, let's try without any uh, assistance from the hover bench shooting it with a bipod. This is going to be pretty tough. But I've always said that, and uh, I usually manage to hit the targets. Let me just uh, grab this, top of that object lock. Okay. The bipod. Okay. This is going to be... Uh, okay, where is the target? Where are you? All right, I seem to have found you. 1,200 meters. Okay, okay, I need to uh, relax myself because this is going to be pretty tough. All right, here we go. 1,200 meters with a Ruger 1022, firing 22 LR. May God have mercy on my soul. Oh, no kick. <laughs> Hey, I hit it. <laughs> but yeah, there's no kick since it's, well, I, yeah, it's 22. I mean, look at, look how big these bullets are. Look, look how big that is. There's them tiny bullets. Oh, where's the thing? Ah, oh, there it is. All right. So yeah, pretty much uh, hit it. 1,200 meters. Let's do that a couple more times. This magazine is pretty large, so oh, I need to, uh, but there's no kick, so hey, I can keep my eyes on the target. Let's like send maybe, let's do like three, 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 three shots. <laughs> it's just a rain of little tiny bullets <laughs> that is hilarious but yeah there is no kick to this thing so oh i'm out oh okay all right oh man just losing sight of the target is the worst hold on i think i need to uh There we go. Oh, I missed. Miss. Hit. Hit. Uh, it was in the shoulder area, though, so. But, uh. There you go, man. 1022 takedown. Or the Ruger 1022. Uh, sighted for. 1,200 meters. Again, this weapon is only like designed for uh, 114 yards, 114.3. <laughs> so 
uh, shooting this far is actually pretty, uh, pretty, well, I don't, I wouldn't say impressive. It's impressive to me. I don't think anybody else views it as impressive. But, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, let me, uh, let me, uh, finish this magazine and then, um, I'll see what else I can do to relax. Let me just get on the target here. I want the uh, big, big target. Oops, kind of drifted. Just a rain of tiny bullets hitting this target. Yep, those are a couple of solid hits there. And uh, I kind of missed a few, but you you get the point. You get the idea. But, uh, yeah, that is, um, all right, well, uh, I figured you can do that. Now, trying to hit 2,000 meters or 2 kilometers with this thing will be, that that's going to be impressive. I don't think I have the patience for that, <laughs> uh, to be completely honest. I, um, that, it took me long enough to, to zero this thing, to sight this in for 1,200. Just imagine how long it would take to do uh, 2 kilometers. <laughs> but to to get somebody with it, uh, two kilometers with a twenty two caliber um, device firearm like that, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty impressive. All right, what else can I do? Let's do something quick here. Any any other? Uh... Oh, you know what? Uh, you know uh, what I always wanted to try. I saw somebody on the uh, H3 VR subreddit do this, but they took a a rocket launcher, an RPG, okay, and they put a scope on it. Let's say, uh, let me get a rail adapter here because I'm going to put a scope on this thing. Let's go rush into Picatinny. There you go. For all, for all those people that didn't know, there is a Russian to Picatinny adapter. And uh, anything that has a dovetail, you can slap that on and you can use, like, uh, uh, whatever. You can use uh, Picatinny stuff now. And uh, let's see, how am I going to build this? First, all, uh, first off, let me just... Uh, let me just save this monstrosity to my vault here. I want to save this because it is absurd and completely stupid, but, uh, all right. So how am I going to build this? Uh, actually, let me just check how long have I been recording? 32, 33. All right. I'll make this quick. All right. Rail adapter. I want to, um, uh, let's see, what do I want to do with this? I actually want to take this, put it here, because I don't want to put the scope here, because the scope will be obscured by um, the iron sights on this thing. All right, so I put that there, and I'm going to get a magnifier scope, 12 by 60. There we go. Okay. That will work. Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I need a uh, rocket for this thing. Let's just go this way. All right. Let us grab a rocket. Uh, where am I going to put this? Right here. There we go. All right. Like I said, I saw somebody in the subreddit do this. Uh, but it was at the uh, Arizona range, and I think that's slightly less than this. So, zero rotation. All right. We'll just try this out for a little bit, and then I'll probably stop for today and relax some more with other things. Okay, let me just move this over like this. All right, we need to... Oh, I should have uh, zeroed this thing, because this is going to go down. Uh, yeah, that's pointing down there. <laughs> two two kilometer rocket. No, um... 
Yeah, I think I might just, uh... Wait, hold on. Should I just zero this thing? Oh, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Yep, it's pointed down there, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Actually, um, let me see if this works. Toggle object lock. We're just going to move this like this. Where is that? Uh, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. I saw something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is a... It's still... Okay. Well, I guess we're going to go... Wait, hold on. It's going to be like this, right? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to angle this thing up. All right. Oh, this is pretty bad. I can't. I guess we're going to have to do this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, well, that is uh, not quite what I wanted to do. All right, hold on. I'm going to do this from here. Gonna grab this like this, and we're just going to. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. We did it. We did it. It's done. <laughs> it is zeroed. <laughs> oh, okay. Oops. I need to move a little bit over here so I don't hit the table. Okay. Oh. Uh, I have no idea what's going on with the, uh, oh no, I guess the, uh, yeah, I guess the crosshair must be over here somewhere, but since we've zeroed it and we've angled it, it's not going to work unless, yeah, this is a bad idea. This is a really dumb idea. I don't know why I decided to do this, but whoops. Get inside. Okay. This is kind of dumb. Oh. Oh, yeah. It went over to the side over here. To the right side. So we might have to adjust windage. Okay, so it went over to the right side. So we're adjusting windage. Do another shot here. Oh. I should turn on easy mag loading for this because this is going to be impossible to do. Yeah, hold on. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Uh, okay. Input control, easy, non-physical. So we could just slide this baby in there. I think. Okay, there we go. Okay. I have lost my crosshair for some reason. Oh, still over to the right, huh? Okay, let's uh, keep going. Oh wait, was I using my right eye to uh, to use the scope? Oh my goodness, I can't. I completely forgot. The uh, the game only captures uh, left eye, <laughs> so all you saw was this, right? Yeah, so I should use my left eye. Oh, man, hold on. Need to grab this, and then... There we go. Okay, this this should be okay.
Let's see where this lands. Oh, we're getting close. Keep going. Adjust the windage. <laughs> this is such a stupid idea. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, about right there, 54. That's good. Let's just uh, grab this. Stick this in. Okay, this should be... Yeah, we're getting there. Just a couple more. Like right there, and then we'll adjust the elevation. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. We'll adjust the elevation to go up, right? So we're actually going down. I think that was the general area right below that 1,000 meter sign. So we'll go to 15. Let's go 15 MOA. Grab ourselves another rocket here. Oh, there we go. Slide that, slide that baby in. Hmm. Okay. That seems like it's the center of the uh, the uh, scope. So that should be good. Let's do one more test. Oh wait, hold on. I need to grab this. Come on, get in there. You can do it. Oh, come on. Oh, this table. I really hate that the that you can stand on it. There we go. That's close to center. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can move this. Okay. Move it to the uh, target, the uh, 1,200. Let's actually move this up as well. Am I moving this up? Hopefully I'm moving this up. Push forward. Yeah, push forward to move up. <laughs> this is so absurd. This is I think this is basically a mortar now, right? So, uh, yeah. Oh, we're getting there. Hold on. I need to find the exact center of this. Uh, that looks like center, right? All right, let's just move over to the uh, right, or left, sorry. Keep moving left. Oh, sorry, I was going the wrong way. Let's just do, do let's double hand this uh, thing here. There we go, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, I think I went too far. Well, actually, no, that's that's where it would land, theoretically. Oh, I need to grab this. Oh, come on, get in the get in the tube. Thought I put mag loading. I think you have man, hold on. There we go. Okay. Don't have to be precise about it, but, well. Ooh, that's a little low. Uh... Right, and then we'll move this up. I 
like that. Okay. There we go. Let's see where this hits. It's still a little low. Uh, starting to regret my decision to do this because this is uh, kind of uncomfortable now. Again, I'm angling, craning my neck up. This is like normal position right here, right? I have to do this to, to see. Uh, all right. You know what? We'll do one more. We'll do one more shot. And let's see if we can dial this in. Elevation. I'm gonna go uh, 50 MOA. We'll just do a general number here. 50, and then we'll push this up to go up a couple more. All right, we're getting there. Just need to move it up a bit more. Okay, I think that should be center. Uh, again, I lost my crosshair for some reason, so let's just... Okay. All right, we'll see how this goes. Look at it go. All right, it's about to land. Ooh, not quite. But it's really nice uh, looking at that trail, though. Do that one more time. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, whatever. We'll just watch it from here. This will be the last thing. Look at it go. All right, I can't see it anymore, so. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, uh, it's kind of uh, uncomfortable, to be honest, craning your head up like that. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I actually don't know what the effective range of an RPG is. I'll have to look that up. But, uh, I don't know, just some, some stupid to do. In fact, I actually want to try some other stuff. But I don't know how long I've got uh, in the recording here. So I think I might have to stop it for today. Of course, I'm talking about the recording itself. I'm just going to keep playing because, you know, well, I'm going to keep uh, experimenting. Uh, machine guns. Actually, you know what? I think I heard somebody say that you could put the uh, minigun on the hover bench. Oops. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of this. You could put the minigun on the hover bench, but I, if I remember correctly. Yeah. You need to keep both hands on it, or else it'll fly off. Nope, come on. So now I'm gonna toggle lock. Oh, there we go. Zero that rotation. <laughs> okay. So basically, if you uh, wait. Oh, it doesn't fly off, but it stops firing, which is uh. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. But if you if you keep both hands on it, it should continue to fire. But uh yeah, all right. Let me uh 
Yeah, these micro adjustments are. Yeah, see, you can't you can't one hand fire it because well you can't do that because it acts like you're grabbing it so you have to you, you have to actually grab it but uh, yeah you know just to check that out. I should have oh they should have like a, a monitor here you know or a, a like a camera. Although I think I am hitting 1,200. Let me grab, let me grab a scope here. Another one. We'll do a little spotting scope uh, action. Melee, tactical, we need the knife. Get the knife. Okay. Got it. Lock a lock. Zero rotation. Here, because the table just... This... Yeah, whatever. Move it down. We can do that fast by uh, adjusting the zero. Oh, you can't adjust the zero. Because this isn't a gun. <laughs> Whoops. Let's see if I can hit the... Um, 2,000. I think it went over. Yeah, I went over. Well, I don't know if I hit it, but this thing has pretty good range. Well, I mean, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, effective range of a minigun is, but uh, yeah, well, that's about it for today. Just a little tiny boring video just to relax for me. Got a floating knife. Get rid of that. But uh, yeah, I'll probably play some Take and Hold uh, next time. Uh, and um, yeah, that's about it for today. I will see you guys next time.